Hey everybody, welcome to Game Salad Recipe 5. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a large scrolling level or a large scrolling world for your platformer game. This tutorial is going to build off of the files that we have set up from recipe number 4, the advanced platformer character movement. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to take a look at it just to see what it is and see what we did in recipe 4. But let's get right into this. I'm going to go to our scene, and it only is one scene just for this demo. Now I've changed the world, I've relayed out the map a little bit from recipe number four to make it larger, to make it scrollable. So if this looks a little different to you, that's why. But the first thing you need to do when you're creating a large scrollable world is to go into your scenes inspector. Make sure you're in the Attributes tab. And then the Size drop-down. You want to adjust the size of the scene. The size defaults to the size of your device. This tutorial was set up for an iPad, which is 1024 by 768. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to double the size of that. I'm going to make this 2048 by 1536. I'm going to go back to the games inspector here. But what you'll see just happened is I have a much larger world now. I can scroll way over. And all this stuff, like I said, was already built. And I can scroll way up, back over again. It's twice the size of an iPad screen now, this level. And these white lines here indicate the size of your device's screen. This outside line is literally the size of the screen. And then this inside line, we'll be taking a look at that in a minute. It's the camera window, basically. So let's scroll back down to our player here. So I want to make this so when I move the player using the arrow keys and jump using the space bar, the camera will follow this player around, over here to the right, up these stairs, back to the left, and even back down if I drop back down again. And right now it doesn't do that. If I play this, I can still jump around with the controls we set up in recipe number four, but when I get to the edge, the camera stays where it's at. So we want to fix that. It's actually really easy to do because we want the camera to follow the hero. I'm going to go into the hero. And I want to drag this control camera behavior up here to the top of the list. There's nothing to set up in here. There's no adjustments to make to this. It's just going to let Game Salad know that the camera should always follow this player. And you can only have one control camera active per game. So you can't have the camera following two or three different players, obviously, because there's only one camera. So just keep that in mind. But if I go back here now and play this, you'll see all of a sudden, when I get to the edge of the screen, the camera now follows the player, which is what we wanted to happen. Now I have to get really close to the edge of the screen to make that happen by default. I have to be right up there at the edge. And that's not typically what I think of for a platformer. There are certainly games where you might want that kind of activity, to have to get really close to the edge before something scrolls. But in a platformer, I think of the character pretty much being centered and the screen moving side to side or up and down with the slightest little movement. And that's easy to do. If you come back here, you have this camera button right here, camera mode. When you click that, and let me scroll over so we can see the edge. These white lines that we talked about a second ago, this one is the edge of your device and this one is the edge of the live camera area. You can control this with these handles. You can drag these handles all the way to the middle like this or you could drag them all the way to the edge like this or anywhere in between just depends on what you want for your game. For typical, what I think of as platform controls, I like it really tight to the center, right there, as far as you can go. 
Now when we preview this, you'll see once I get to the center of the screen, it scrolls with me, right and left. As soon as I go left, it scrolls again, right, left, right. If I jump high enough to get out of the center with a double jump, it scrolls up and back down. So now this is probably what you think of when you think of a scrolling platform, where I'm double jumping up here to get to the top. I'm going to double jump over, scroll back to the left. Double jump to this next platform, and then drop back down where we started from. So it's really that easy. It's not really a difficult thing to do in Game Salad. Now, since we added the control camera behavior to the actor right here, you can move this actor around anywhere on screen that you want. Say you wanted to start this actor in a different spot. If I wanted to start it up at the top center of the screen, instead of the bottom left. If I move this main actor, say, up here to this platform, and then preview again, the camera snaps right to that actor wherever you put it in your level. So now you can play just like normal. And the camera still follows it, of course, because we have the control camera behavior on it. But you don't have to leave your character down here where when you have your camera highlighted where it shows the camera's area because that camera will snap to your character wherever they are in your level when you start. So that's it. That's really all there is to scrolling your camera in Game Salad. So have fun with that and good luck making games.